Alright, today's video is going to be showing you how to install Mikey XDA's ROM on the EVO 4 GLT. Now, this was my favorite ROM on my HTC EVO 3D, which I still have and I'll still do videos on. Right now, a developer currently has it, Unknown Force. But basically, you're going to go down here and then... What I always, always do, and I say this in a lot of videos, is I copy the MD5 and click on it. And then I use Down the Mall for Firefox. I really enjoy it. It's got this MD5 checking tool. And then I want it to go to my desktop. And now we just wait. It usually says retry or delete right here. Yep right there so I'm going to retry and it should work this time while this is downloading I'm going to be plugging in my EVO 4 GLTE and then choosing disk drive mode and then done it is better to copy the zip to the internal SD card because it has been reported that it flashes much faster that way and of course my internet wouldn't be going as fast as it should be going Mikey XDA, if you're watching this, please, please let us use Goo Manager to download your ROM. Anytime there's an update, Goo Manager will notify us of the update and we'll be able to download it and install it directly from our phones, if it's at all possible. Please and thank you. All right, at this point, when it's done, since we're using Down the Mall, it's going to verify the MD5 to make sure what you downloaded is exactly what was uploaded, and it passed. If it didn't, it would notify you and it would ask you if you wanted to retry your download or keep the bad file. You never want... You never want to keep a bad file, trust me. And then here's the main ROM. We're going to open up our Goo Manager folder that's on our SD card. And I haven't used Goo Manager yet, so here's a really good time to show you. Goo Manager. It's that simple. And then just copy this over here. And then with TerraCopy, I can press this button and it ejects the drive automatically when it's done transferring. The best part about TerraCopy is that even when you're using Windows XP, it actually tells you the transfer speed instead of just the time remaining. Alright, it's done and our phone is ejected, so I'm going to unmount it as a disk drive to charge only and switch over to my Canon 60D in 3, 2, 1, go. For the remainder of this video, I'll be going without this case. It is always, 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 always recommended that you wipe your phone when you're going from one ROM to another. Sometimes you can get away with it, but trust me, you don't want to. You might be asking me why Mobile Odin Pro is on there, simply because I'm getting the SGS3 and I wanted to go ahead and spend the $5 and get it out of the way. I'm using Chainfire's DSLR controller on my Canon 60D to record this video, so anything he puts out is worth buying. First, what you're going to want to do before you wipe your phone is back everything up with titanium backup. Just go here to the batch, backup and restore. And then I choose backup all user apps and system data. Now be very, very careful when you're backing up system data because if you restore it on a different ROM, you're going to have random reboots. You might get stuck in a boot loop. It's bad news, don't do it. But if you ever go back to a stock ROM, it's okay to restore some of the system data. People ask me about that and the stock ROM does come with swipe. I have not installed it manually. Ooh, mean ROM's ROM gets rid of that. I hate tell HTC. It's just like a logging crap. You'll have to excuse my notifications at Sauce Monkey. He said, why do people call it a dedicated camera button? Why don't they say it has a dedicated power button? <laughs> All right, sweet. Just clear the notifications, and now you have all of your apps, all of your game save, everything backed up to your SD card. Now we're gonna open up Goo Manager, which I don't have it in here. If you don't have it, it's in the market, and it looks just like that. Just press open. The first time you open it up, it's gonna ask you for root access. See, it was granted root access. Then we're gonna go down here to Flash ROMs. I already have one installed, Torp Recovery. As it from another location. Okay, I'm going to save you guys a lot of time here. Basically, when I mounted my SD card, for some reason it chose the external SD card in Windows, and it needed to choose the internal SD card. So when I finally figured that out and copied the mean ROM zip to the internal SD card from the external using ES File Explorer, then Goo Manager detected the file under Flash ROMs. Then from there, you'll be able to continue and follow along with me. 
Alright, so the file is actually in the internal SD card. Not sure how mounting his disk drive chose the external, but whatever. Go back to Goo Manager. I need to put it in that root folder. Now when you press Splash ROMs, ta-da! <laughs> that is the big culprit right there. Is I mean, yeah, I could have gone here, press menu, settings, download path, and chose a different location. But whatever, you get the idea. Whatever folder is set in here, that's where your downloads need to be. We're gonna flash the mean ROM ICS, order and flash selected. You need to wipe if you're coming from Viper ROM, Fresh Evo, a stock ROM, whatever. You need to wipe. If you don't wipe and your phone does not boot up and your phone force closes on everything, please do not come to me because I told you to wipe. Now, I'm on a completely stock ROM and I just backed everything up with a tiny backup. So I'm not going to create a backup, but you can if you want to. Just press on it, name it something, press OK and then flash and yes. The best part about using Goo Manager is it's gonna take you into twerp recovery and do everything for you. If you don't have twerp recovery, all you gotta do is press the menu button and choose install open script recovery. Keep pressing yes, it'll automatically reboot your phone, install the recovery and then move back to system. This is going to take a while so I will of course be cutting out the wait times. Wow, that actually wasn't long at all, so hopefully nothing got screwed up there. What's it doing? I don't know. What? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's freaking wicked. And yes, this is my first time flashing this ROM on this phone. This is my very first time seeing this boot animation. It just vibrated. Keep in mind, the first boot up always takes a long time. All right. Now, I cannot stress how important it is that you're going to have to let the ROM settle down before you start doing anything crazy. Let it boot all the way and give it a couple reboots before you think anything bad is happening to your phone. Comes with the stock keyboard. If you haven't done this yet, I highly recommend doing it. I already have my 25 gigabytes and I'm just gonna restore my data anyway, so I'll do that later. And here's where you'll actually go and sign into your Google account. If you have this phone, please go buy SwiftKey. The stock HTC keyboard sucks in my opinion. Next. Finish. That is freaking sweet. Did you see that? Did you see that? There was no Tell HTC screen. He left that out of the ROM. That is basically HTC's way of knowing what you're doing on your phone. That is freaking sweet. Awesome. When you drag down the notification bar, you have quick settings. And you can just press on stuff to turn it on and off. Sim slot manager? I have no idea what that is. Keep in mind, this is the second release. Just like Mean ROM for the Evo 3D, I did a video on version 2.5 and man, it quickly jumped to 3 and then 4. So this will go through a lot of updates and a lot of changes. Some more things may be added to the quick settings like brightness control and other options and more features will come out and things will be fixed. As of right now, I don't think anything doesn't work. He says nothing works that he knows of, so that's pretty freaking sweet. You got a stable ROM. When you hold down the power button, let's see what happens. You get restart, power off, and recovery. All right, sweet. He does not have fast boot checked by default, which some ROMs do it, and stock ROMs do it for sure. Fast boot will not let your phone shut down all the way. When you restart it, it'll be a quick restart. Trust me, you do not want that enabled. Plus, if that's enabled, you won't get into the bootloader from powering it down and then holding volume up and down. 
take a quick look at what all apps he's included with the ROM. ES File Explorer. Okay, keep in mind, it is restoring a lot of my apps. So, we'll just see if there's any HTC crap in here. It does not look like it. We get root through SuperSU. I really miss using SuperUser, but I'm okay with using SuperSU. Comes with Wi-Fi Tether, unless that got restored. And I do believe it has a Sprint Hotspot hack. Some ROMs are including that, so you can actually use 3G and LTE and Tether without paying Sprint anything extra. This is my video on how to install the mean ROM version 0.2 on the Sprint HTC Evo 4G LTE and a quick look at the ROM. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button up there. It will notify you of new videos. I post new videos on a regular basis and I cover many other devices like the Galaxy Nexus and soon the Galaxy S3. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.